What the f What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to watch five scary ghost videos that will freak you the hell out. All right, now if you guys want to watch the original video, the link gonna be in the description down below. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Make sure not to subscribe, also, because if we get the three million subscribers, then I gotta stay at a haunted house, and I will just fight stuff. Like, it might not be humans or ghosts because you can't hit them, but I'm gonna kick the shit out of the floorboard because I'll fight a couch and hopefully not get it on camera because I look like a fool. But yo, you guys wanna watch the original video? The link will be in the description down below. Let's do this. Top five ghosts caught on camera. The St. Charles Hotel. On the YouTube ghost hunting channel, The Haunted Side, Lead investigator Patrick and his cameraman Jason are investigating the supposedly very haunted St. Charles Hotel in Carson City, Nevada. The hotel has been in continuous operation for over 150 years, so obviously it's had its fair share of tragic events occurring inside its walls. Almost immediately, the haunted side guys begin to experience unexplained activity. And we're going back in. I don't even see anything in here that's metal. No, there's no debris. Nothing changed. Patrick and Jason head to the hotel's most haunted rooms to continue their investigation. So we're standing out front of room 305 and 304. Which should we go first, 304? 304. And again, this is the floor where there's a lady um, from the 1800s that is seen around here a lot. So let's go see if we can talk to her. And now, this is when things get truly bizarre. Do you have something you want to say? Come and talk to us. The floor is super creaky. Yeah. That was weird. Is that you? I felt like a little, like a little touch or like a little pressure. Now, at first this clip might not seem that compelling, but right after Patrick is touched, watch what their night vision camera catches. That was weird. Is that you? Did you see it? Now this chilling capture of a pale apparition might be a bit hard to see on a darker phone screen or a monitor. So I've enhanced the video just a bit. But note, nothing was added to the Haunted Side's original video. It has only been adjusted to highlight what was already there. Is that you? Oh no. Nope, no. Next, Patrick and Jason move to room 305. Bro, it's two of them. A room which is also said to be a hotbed of paranormal activity. I got multiple they capture ghosts. some very odd temperature fluctuations in the room. But the most chilling footage of all happens just after they walk out. Both Jason and myself had to leave this room. Little did we know we were about to capture something unbelievable. <laughs> Did you see it? Again, I'll enhance the video. Take another look. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Some creepy figure seems to just be standing idly in the corner with its head down. When they leave the room, it seems to raise its head and disappear into the bathroom. So did the haunted side catch a ghostly apparition in two separate rooms at the St. Charles Hotel? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can watch the haunted side's complete uncut investigation over on their YouTube channel. Catalina, Catalina.
So everyone has heard of the Bloody Mary Party Game and the Charlie Charlie Challenge. But this next video features an odd supernatural game that I've never heard of before. Two girls are gathered in front of a creepy doll. Each time they recite a line, they light a candle at the doll's feet. And it didn't go well. Catalina, Catalina, vuelve a la vida. Lo que el diablo te da, el diablo te quita. No, no, no. Catalina, Catalina, vuelve a la vida. Lo que el diablo te da, el diablo te quita. En nombre del demonio, manifiéstate hoy, aquí y en este día. En nombre del demonio, manifiéstate hoy, aquí y en este día. Now this video was sent in by a viewer who says she found it on a random Spanish language website. I searched for the source or even a mention of this Catalina Catalina ritual that the girls are doing, but nothing showed up. So I leave it to you to decide. Is this a haunted doll caught on camera or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Looks pretty haunted to me. Damn that. You decide. <laughs> Stairs to nowhere. What did you think would happen? Why do these people do this dumb stuff expecting different outcomes? I don't get it. You call on Satan and then get mad when he show up. And that's like setting up a surprise party for me and then getting pissed when I walk through the front door. Like, come on, baby. Over on the YouTube channel Mindseed TV, Casey Nolan and fellow investigator Tanner McBride hear about a small abandoned town called Rodney, Mississippi. The ghost town is located deep in the countryside, and its decaying buildings are said to be intensely haunted. Well, it turns out that the reason the town was abandoned is because Rodney, Mississippi experiences frequent flooding. We know Rodney's flooded different times of the year, and we knew it was very possible that it could be flooded during our trip, but we had no idea that we would be stopped by water almost a mile away from the actual town of Rodney. So this is really the direction that we gotta go right now? It says it's like a mile and a half that way. Even worse, when the floodwaters are high, alligators are known to hunt in the murky streams. As if that wasn't bad enough, there are also deadly snakes hiding under the water's surface. Oh, Watch for nope. snakes. Nope. The locals have been telling us that there are water moccasins and they are active. Every fucking stick feels like an alligator to me, dude. Nope. It got a little bit deep at times. It was up to our waists. Oh, it's getting deeper. I'm almost up to my waist right now. I'm almost up to my waist. That definitely looked like an eye. Behind those bushes. Yeah. And now it's gone. Like, I got a reflection when I was looking over that way. And then it disappeared, which freaks me the f out because it makes me believe now that something went underwater. Doesn't mean it's like a, a big one or anything, but it definitely could be an alligator. After tromping a mile and a half through the muddy floodwaters, the Mine Seed TV guys finally reached the town. They investigate the allegedly very haunted Old Town Church. And that's, that's the building they're talking about. No, no, uh huh. Right. Well, nope. Are we gonna do this? Uh uh. Absolutely right. not. So, absolutely not. While investigating not. the old church, they decide to start reading prayers to try to provoke a reaction from any spirits that might haunt the building. And it seems to work. God made two great lights the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. 
Hey, did you hear something? Like downstairs? The larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. We were hearing like a bunch of scratching and a couple of thud noises. I've been hearing stuff the whole time. You heard like thump, right? Yeah, the whole time I've heard two. At least maybe three. There's a lot of noise going on. Okay. <laughs> Is it, it sounds like scratching though, right? Like scratching noises on yes. the wall. Don't move for a second. On the roof. That sounded big. That guy wasn't like a squirrel or a rat. Yeah, but I don't know what the f it could be. I have no idea. And it just gets weirder. Later, as they are just about to leave the church, this. What the f was that? That was big. That sounded like something jumped right there, right? Eh? You think that's an animal? Can't even deny it. Sound like Popeye the Sailor Man. Come, 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 come. Pretty sure that's what that hungry hippo would sound like in real life. Gobbling those balls. You gotta admit though, bro, that was scary, yo. That scared the hell out of me, bro. You ain't even hear it or see it. You gotta hear it. I saw it, but I didn't hear it. Bro, the hearing is the worst part, man. It's all bad. It sounds like someone is literally running down the stairs. Like it's all bad. I'm just like, oh. Oh, what the f Oh my god. What the f bro? Did you feel that? I was I had like fing heat in my chest, like dead in the center of my chest, dude. It sounds like the heavy footsteps of someone or something charging down the stairs at them. But there's no one there. Oh, what the f It sounded like someone came charging down the stairs at us. The footsteps sounded loud, aggressive, and once it reached the bottom of the steps, I felt a breeze blow past me, and Tanner said he felt heat inside of his chest. They check out the rest of the abandoned ghost town and then decide to call it a night. I bet they did. Through the creepy swamp. Nope. So did the Mind Seed TV guys catch real paranormal proof? On you think? You think they caught some proof? They didn't just catch it. They felt the proof. That is 100% real. I wouldn't want nothing to do with none of that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh. No sir, Bob. Oh, boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that scared the hell out of me. I mean, you wouldn't know I was scared by my response, sounding like a human lawnmower that just <laughs> run into some racks, or like the world's first African-American pirate. But <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good time. I am, gl you don't pun me. <laughs> I'm having a blast. But yo, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we're gonna have to slice this one into two parts because it's super duper long. Make sure to watch the next part. Blast some Sage D twisms.